it's I have heard them being called uh, Diet Palutena. I don't know how much that is true to you, last, but you know, from what I see, Adobofo is gonna try to do use, to use a lot of the reflector, like he just did, uh, you know, starting out the match immediately. And you know, against Link, a character that really has a lot of those, that shouldn't be a bad idea. But Alphaeus is gonna rely a lot more on those setups and try to go for some close combat play. But when Ooh. he doesn't have the bomb, he gets a little desperate. That's something that I do see from Alphaeus. I mean, that down air from Adobofo almost managed to take the first stock very quickly. He just a little bit unfortunately didn't get the spike hitbox on it. But he is controlling neutral pretty well, keeping Adobofo, or keeping Alphaeus rather, uh, boxed out, like you mentioned, using that reflector. Because most of uh, Link's neutral is reliant on either boomerang or bomb. So being able to have something that just kind of straight up denies Whoa. it is very very good but yeah, I... punishing that laggy side b and then not di'ing the f smash correctly it results in a lost stock pretty early tune yeah it's really sad the ter the most terrible di i've ever seen but hey you know might be a match of an experience as well i don't know but he is you know, pretty hungry to just catch those recoveries from Alphaeus. Link mains do a lot of reverse up beasts, so that whenever you get too eager off stage, they actually take your stock with them. And Alphaeus is, is, is still in no danger of losing his stock, at least off stage whenever he's recovering low. But, you know, Adabafa might want to take a step back whenever that happens, because Alphaeus is gonna go for those reverse up beasts. But this backer will do it for the first stock. And still, great extra credit from Alphaeus. I mean, oh, he is, is going, oh, there, yeah, like you mentioned, there is that reversed up B, and now the landing falling Nair into the rising up B for the stock. Fantastically played confirm by Alphaeus. That was just great all around, and Adobofo didn't really have many options because I believe he was out of jumps off stage. so no matter what, that would have been a huge punish, and Alphaeus took it all the way to the blast zone. Yes, indeed. I mean, just recognition of, as to where his opponent is, and the ever so slight advantages that Adobofo gives Alphaeus when he thinks that he's actually earning something for himself, right? Because against Link, and especially against Mexican Links, who do that so often, you think you're in a good position to take this stock, but then that happens to you. And now Alphaeus is getting cheeky, Whoa. trying to go for that same option again. He knows that the DI is not going to be correct, so might as well try again, right? Unfortunately for him, uh, Adobofo is not falling for that anymore. And good on Adobofo, but he needs to get some percent here because it's been a while. Oh, no! no. Not like that. You know, the comeback is always possible until the last possible second, but uh, not really when you get pineappled underneath PS2, right? Uh, it was it was looking really, really good for Alphaeus that whole time. He, he controlled the neutral outside of a few small interactions where either Nair or uh, the, the down B managed to stuff him out. And it was just devastating hit after devastating hit. We saw it with the reverse up ease off stage. We saw it with the random F smashes that just so happened to connect on stage. And now we're going to see Adobofo swap it up to the Kirby to maybe try and get something else going because the Dark Pit just didn't work out. Indeed, but now PG Stats is pretty much telling you the truth. Now we're seeing the correct data that you saw. And, well, here's the other thing. How is Kirby going to get in? I mean... He is chasing Alphaeus down, but Alphaeus is more than willing to play the long game, it seems, to, of course, avoid that great combo game that Kirby has. And specifically against Link, a character that isn't that light. He is going to get caught with a lot of percent. And here we go, finally getting something started. But no, was it the boomerang that saved him or just DI? I think it was just good DI. Uh, but the, the other thing is that one of Kirby's biggest strengths in a lot of matchups is being very, very difficult to hit. Link doesn't really have that problem. They've got that landing lingering nair that covers a lot of space. They've got the fair that they can throw out at most any point. And they've also got the bomb and boomerang that can do just about everything that they need in neutral. So I, I think that Link uh, is doesn't have the same problems that a lot of characters do in this matchup. But that right there is still going to be a problem, and that's Kirby falling out of kill confirms. That was, was a, that's what I was about to say. The second hit of the forward smash did not connect, and yeah, Kirby's weight will help him do that. And now out of both, you know, I have a theory. Perhaps he was doing the the DI just to fall out of that second hit in the first game, and then he died super early on because of it. But now we do get the confirm from Alphaeus, and more percent as well, but 
you can't linger for too long under, sorry, uh, yeah, underneath Kirby because that rock is gonna come through like the Cashel play style when you were a child. There it is, taking the stock once again, and Alphias and Adobofo somehow even. Man, those were simpler times when Kirby <laughs> down B was the, the best move in the game and it was it was unpunishable and you, you banned it from playing with your friends, but Alphais absolutely devastating on this second stock. Throws up the bomb and very nearly finds the stock with it. Now the landing bomb too. They're cooking here. Absolutely. I mean, a lot of percent on Autobofo, but I do still feel something coming through. No, never no. mind. Alphys <laughs> says that ain't gonna happen soon. Just an up B out of shield. Not the most common up B out of shield you get to see, but whenever Autobofo falls in, uh, you know, in place for Alphys to do that, of course, he's gonna capitalize off of it. And no down Bs from him, fortunately. I mean, down B is gonna leave him a lot more vulnerable, and I think he does know his kill confirms, but problem now is how do you play neutral? You need to low profile a lot more things, and Alphys is just getting a lot of hits. Oh, but he is going to be caught up on that secondary platform, not going to be able to find the confirm off of it. But I was starting to get a little bit worried for Alphys to stock there because we've seen it so many times, Toon, where a, a player gets caught in shield on that uh, that upper platform and they just can't escape from it because they're going to die. He manages to get down, though, so it's not going to be too big a deal. That final cutter saving him from the worst case scenario and yet again falling out of the F smash. Alphys trying so hard to close it out and is going to find it with that right. Rising reverse up B. Once again, the reverse.